Okay, let's check our work. So on number one, it says count back on the number line to find 15 divided by 5. All right, so my number line is counting by 1s, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. So I can count back by 5s all the way to 0. And I would do 15 to 10 is 1 jump, 10 to 5 is 2, 5 to 0 is 3. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. Let's look at number 2. Use count up or count back on a number line to solve. So on this one, I think I'm going to go count up, and I'm going to be counting by twos, because two is my divisor. So I start at zero, and then I go two, four, six, eight, ten. Why did I stop at ten? Because ten is my dividend. So that's where I need to stop. That's how many I have. So how many jumps is that? It is one, two, three, four, five. Five jumps. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. Let's go this way. 20 divided by 5. This time I'm going to start with my dividend and I'm going to count back. So I'm going to start at 20 and I need to go back by 5's each jump. So 5. See? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then I put my bubbles. Now I can jump back. I have 1, 2, 3, 4 jumps. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Okay, on this one we're finding the quotient, so we're finding the answer to our division problem. 50 divided by 5. How do I want to do that? Well, I have a lot of strategies that I can use, but the one we learned today has to do with tens. So I could say 50 divided by 10, because look, it ends in a zero, and so does my 10. And I know that 50 divided by 10 is 5, and then I double it to get my answer. Okay, how about 5 divided by 5? This is one of the rules we've learned when we were doing zeros and ones. Five divided by five is one. How about 45 divided by five? What do I do? I think I'm gonna draw a quick number line. Okay, I'm gonna start at zero and I need five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, uh oh, I'm gonna run out of room, 40, 45. So how many jumps is that? That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 jumps. 45 divided by 5 is 9. All right, on to number 7 and 8. We're going to start on the top. 2 times 10 is 20. 3 times 10 is 30. 4 times 10 is 40. 5 times 10 is 50. Now let's do our 5s. 1 times 5 is 5. 2 times 5 is 10. 3 times 5 is 15. 4 times 5 is 20. 5 times 5 is 25. And if I was to get stuck on any of that, I can always count by 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Just count by 5s to get my 5s. All right, now let's do this one. Now we're dividing. So 30 divided by 10, well, I look at my tens place. 30 divided by 10 is 3. 40 divided by 10 is 4. 50 divided by 10 is 5. Okay, now let's do our 5s. Remember, we can double it to make it faster. So what's 3 plus 3? 6. 4 plus 4? 5 plus 5. There are our answers. Okay, on the next couple of pages, you're going to be working with word problems and a couple more regular computations. Make sure you're using your strategies. Don't forget, you have several of them to choose from now. You have counting forward or backward on a number line. 
and you can always use 10 and then double it, okay? You also have your multiplication chart, which you can use for division. Make sure that you're working through all of that. All right, if you have questions, get a hold of me.